Hello gang, <laughs> hello friends, hello gang friends, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today, I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you're well. If you're new, hello, my nails did them mess again. Bunch of chipped from just filing um, people's nails. The thumb, it poked out the glove and I caught it with the file and then there was a hole so I picked because why wouldn't you? My name's Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff for nail stuff and the stuff she does with nails is done with nail stuff and stuff for nails. Calm down, let's not be crazy. It is day, I'm going to have to wait and see which box I pick out because I can't remember where I am. It is day, oh it's day 13 of the Madame Glam advent calendar and our ag advent, advent, accent, adventure, accent nail adventure so let's have a look and see what is in box number 13 we have get it out another foil we have a blue foil we'll have a little mosey at it and then we will do something with it this is so nice icy blue lovely icy just icy that's the vibes we're going for today something involving ice and guess what no uh, I'm folding it up and putting it away don't get any creases in it you don't really want to fold a crease in it so roll it up and then we are taking Oceanside which is a Madame Glam colour as well you can get a whopping 30% off your Madame Glam orders by using the link in the description and code MissJo30 so do that <laughs> so I'm going to do two coats of this it's not as opaque as um, most of their polishes but somehow still got full coverage in two coats even though after the first coat I thought hmm will this be a three coater but no it's fine um, but I like on their website it tells you like it has op an opacityometer on it <laughs> that's not what they call it I coined that phrase um, which is good so you know what you're getting so I've wiped and buffed. I've wiped and buffed both of them. Didn't need to do both of them, but I didn't really know what, what I was going to do. And then I'm taking the foil gel, which we got the other day in the calendar. And on one of them, we're doing half the nail with the foil gel. And this one we're doing all over with the foil, foil gel. Foil gel. Foil gel. So I'm taking, I've cured that. And I'm taking the foil and we're going to place it on. And I bugger this up again like I did the other day with the foils. I just hate doing foils on these pops. And I think that kind of, because I'm thinking that in my brain, it just, I don't know. I make it not go as well as it could slash, no, it should slash I could. Um, but we'll rub that. And I do, so I get some creases on it, but um, it's fine. We're just going to patch them up because it's all one pattern I think there are still a little a couple of cracks but I'm just not in the mood to worry about it you know so we will put that aside for now will we yes we will and then we're going to yes yeah, so I didn't need to wipe and buff this nail because I went straight over like I did full cover of the foil gel and now we're doing patch foils and I try and make sure not to get the corner of the foil so we don't get a straight line. So where I'm pushing on with my thumb, I'm making sure that it's the paddy part that's touching the nail and not the of my thumb <laughs> with the foil over it and not the corner edge sharp line bit. And now <laughs> we are going to take they, there, there, they, the... Do you notice sometimes you say the and sometimes you say the? Who was I talking to about this the other day? Was it you guys? Sorry if it was. I'm shiny topping half of the nail. I'm going to matte top the other side. But yeah, like the, the blue is the best. 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 I think it's an emphasis, isn't it? Say the if you're emphasis. Anyway... There was a bit of bit of speck of something on there that annoyed me, so we got rid of that shit. And now we are taking the white, the white gel paint, not the white gel paint, the white gel paint, 
and we are going to paint a line down the center I, my lines aren't very good in this video i'm afraid but yeah I, I don't have an excuse for it they're just not very good <laughs> so we're going to paint a line down there you can flash as you go with this sort of thing if you're happy with that line um give it a flash and then when you go to do the next one because if i didn't like this one which i don't that much then it would be easier to wipe that off if the other one's cured instead of having to um, be careful as you wipe it off. And because this gel paint is a no wipe, so you don't, it doesn't have a tacky layer after, I'm putting it on straight on top of the matte and the shiny top coat and then it will stay like that because I just, I like the look of it as the last, the top thing, the top layer because it's just bright and yeah, kind of looks a bit embossed as well. So I did a thinner line either side of the thick one and then we're coming out horizontal in the middle and then we're going to do diagonals above and below that. We're going to add sort of half a snowflake. So I'm doing little V's in between each snowflake and use the finishing point of that V to be the starting point of this one. I can never seem to get these even but I think this went okay this bit here. <laughs> the lines, not so much, but this bit went okay. This is inspired by a set by Nails by Dunja. I love her work. Don't tell her though, because I didn't do the best job. Um, but that's who it's inspired by. And when you do half a snowflake, do a little, like a fraction more than half, so you can see the centre dot of the snowflake, because you can then have the middle arms, like the vertical arms. So I'm going to use one of these straight lines, straight lines, lines as the as snowflake arms. Instead of if I had not put the center dot in the snowflake, it wouldn't have arms and it would just have those three arms sticking out and not the vertical. Do you know, does that make sense? Just have a, just include the middle lines. That's that's what I mean. And then I've done dots on the end and then just pulled out from the dots to give them little pointy ends. And then we're going to press and pull. But press, lift off and pull. Press down, lift off and pull. Press down, give it a wiggle if you're not getting much product deposited. And then just lift off the pressure as you pull to... The line you're going towards. I have sped up this bit here but before that I was going the speed that I was painting and with the lines and everything just to show how slowly I paint. Um, really slowly. <laughs> Don't think that a 14 minute video took 14 minutes. Mm -mm. It took longer. So we're adding some more flicky bits on the long line on the left and then we're going to add some dots just down this line and that will be it we don't need to top it oh no it no it's not it we're not done <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about i'm taking a little blue crystal i would use a gem gel if this was on a person um but i'm just bouncing that up and down to get enough product to sink the crystal into and so that it comes up around the sides a bit to seal it in this is the size of these nails they're sort of my ring finger size a bit small for the middle um in case you're wondering so that crystal, like I said, I'd use a gem gel on a person, but I just used a no wipe top coat. And that is the first one. Now we're taking River Walk, which is a super duper white. And we are going to do, oh, we're going to do a little polar bear, another creature. So we need a name. What shall we call him? Her. I don't know. I always presume when I draw something with a face, it's a boy. I don't know why. So I started with the bottle brush on a person. This is obviously the cuticle end, so you'd need to use a detail brush. And we've done a big sort of bit more than half a circle and then some little circles for the ears. We're going to cure that and then I'm going to do a second coat. And then we are taking Mountain Peak and we're going to do another circle. Lots of circles so far big circle, two little circles, 
and then another little circle. And we'll fill that in and we will do some in the ear holes, <laughs> in the ears. And I'm going to sort of straighten, um, flatten the bottoms of these or they are a flat curve <laughs> to go with the shape of his head. So we'll do a line, but we'll curve it along with the shape. And then we will maybe flash that in place just to be safe. And we will... I was behind a second ago and now I'm ahead. Uh, how are you all doing, all right? I'm having a stressy day, really stressy day. There's a certain present I want to get my mum for Christmas. And I've ordered it five times, a different version of it. And I don't like any of them. So I spoke to her earlier and was like, I need another idea. She's like, well, don't worry about it. We can look at something together after Christmas. No, I'm not, not going to have a Christmas present for you. What the fuck do you want? Oh, I don't know. No, it doesn't matter. And I'm like, oh, I just need an idea. So hard to buy for. Now I'm behind again. We took the Madame Glam dotting tool and their black gel paint. Or was it polish? I think it was gel paint. And more dots. So we did two dots for eyes and a dot on the nose and then just pulled a line out of it. And then I used Shaka, which is a really great French pink. Well, on my skin tone, I suppose it varies for everybody. And did some dots for the cheeks. And I've matte topped, and that's not the Madame Glam matte top coat. Um, I don't have that yet. It's a different brand and it pulls colours, which is kind of annoying. So it dragged the black eyes. It gave him the kind of forgot to take his makeup off the night before look. And but so I just turned it upside down and painted it back down, to kind of pull the drag back into where it should be and then cured that. And now we're going over the blue areas with shiny. You could. Um, I didn't have to, I suppose, matte the whole nail, but I wanted to see what this foil looked like matte which I really liked but we'll do it shiny to match the foil on the other one and now our polar bear is is matte and soft and like it feels like a real polar bear I've never felt one uh, but yeah you could matte just the polar bear and then shiny the rest or matte the whole thing or shiny the whole thing I just yeah went that way about it and then we've done three dots and then either side in the center so as if you were doing a, a polka dot where you put the dot to the left or right in between the ones on the line next to it and we're going to do a little snowflake so just pull through the dots and we will add some more oh there's another snowflake there now and then some more dots pretty much everything has started out with a dot <laughs> or a circle on these two. Oh, and the lines they were closer to circles and straight lines though <laughs> so I'm going to this wasn't on the inspo pick I'm going rogue and I'm going to outline the polar bear with the white gel paint so you can see I mean I think matte top coat or velvet top coat does dull white a little bit but you can see the difference between a matted white and the gel paint white and it just, even though you're outlining white with white, you can still see it. And then I thought, let's wisp them out. So I haven't cured the outline. And then I'm just pulling from the outline in just tiny little strokes. And now he's fluffy. He's a fluffy polar bear. One of my friends once came round and heard my mum say, this is when we were younger, say, oh, who's my big polar bear? And she was talking to the golden retriever we had at the time who was really really light hair um and my friend said is she talking to your dad <laughs> anyway this fluffy polar bear is not my dad <laughs> so he does feel nice and velvet oh he bit me bloody sod he does feel nice and sort of velvety i hope you like him let me know in the comments what we should call him if you do like this video give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button i appreciate you being here so so much and i will see you tomorrow bye bye